Holy Wiremont here with tutorial 27 in the Expression 2 series where we're going to be taking at Vion, or what's properly named as Verkus Object Notation. So what is this? Well, this is actually going to be the replacement for what's GLON, or GLON if you want to call it that, which was actually disabled in GMod 13. And it did allow certain extensions to be passed through, but the whole point of this is to serialize all a bunch of information, such as from an array or a table, and put that into a string, okay, which is encoded. So let's encode a string. So we're going to say a table. Remember, you can actually do this for array as well, but we're going to do table variant just to make things a little bit easier for us. So we're going to say a number, a string, let's put an entity in here, heck, we'll put a vector of 0, 1, 2, and that's going to be our information. Now, if we want to put that in encoded form as a string, well, we can do that by putting v on encode. And now let's put our table. And if we print that, it's going to be a string. And that's what the encoding looks like. It's a little nice and confusing for us, so it's hard to understand. So let's actually assign this to a variable real quick and decode it. So we'll say encoded table is going to be equal to that. So let's say that we want to decode. So we're going to put decode, decode. Now when we decode, it's going to print in array form and we're going to be decoding the encoded table. So it would actually print an array if we did this, which is not going to print well. So we're going to go to print table, and we're going to print this in table form for you guys so you can see. Now, here we go. And as you can see, we have the table with all of our information, the number, the string, entity data, and vector. Now, recall it wouldn't necessarily put a wire link bone or some array types like a NPC, vehicle, and weapon and ranger data might cause you some issues. But other than that, this is pretty useful if you want to encode your information. All right, since we're in here, this is a good time for some reflections in the mirror room. This is going to be my last tutorial for expression two. And it's not going to be that I'm not gonna load any more Gary's Mod videos. I am gonna upload more Gary's Mod videos. However, uh, I pretty much taught you everything I can teach you with the series. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it so much. It's been awesome teaching this. Uh, I will be continuing with uh, how to build stuff so I mean if you want to suggest a topic for things you'd like to learn how to build using expression 2 I'll gladly put that into the topic list for uploads for the how to build series but it's been a pleasure and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions of course leave so in the comment section below and as always if you like the material feel free to like subscribe and share and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial series huh. all right catch you later <laughs>